Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. And today, I would like to talk about cell phones. The issues that some men and women have with cell phones. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. Hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell so that you can know every time I upload a new video. Stop on by, see what your girl Champagne Nights and Caviar Dreams is doing over here. And today we're going to talk about cell phones. Does your partner have a right to be going in and out of your cell phone? I mean... They want to look at who you last talked to, how long you talked to this person, how long you've been on the phone. Um, let me see your text messages. If you on Facebook, I need the password to your Facebook account. I need to know who you friends with, this, that, and the other. That ain't none of your business. Ladies, stay out your man's cell phone. Men, if you that insecure, stay out of your woman's cell phone. That cell phone is none of your business. What's going on in that phone is really none of your business. Some people are so insecure when it comes to cell phones. They just want to know every move you make it with that cell phone. But if you ask them for their cell phone, they got an issue. They got a problem. But they don't have no problem going into your cell phone. See so you have the cell phone. Now, if the cell phone is a family phone because you don't have a cell phone and we have to share the cell phone, oh yeah, that's your business. That's her business. That's his business. That's who's ever business. But if the cell phone is a private cell phone, do not be trying to go in your man's cell phone. Do not be trying to go in your woman's cell phone because you might run up on something that you really, really, don't want to see, or you might run up on something that you think is something and it's really nothing because people have a way of spending things the way they want to spend it. If they think it's this way or they think it's that way, that's the way they're going to spend it. Not cool, not a good look. Stay out of each other's cell phones. When you start looking at cell phones, you want to look at the pictures. So they may say, you know, here you, here you go. You can look at the pictures. So then when people give you a cell phone and they let you look at the pic, look at their pictures, it's a particular picture they letting you look at. But some people have the tendency when they got the phone in their hand, they want to start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop. What you, where they do that at? Don't, don't do that. Anytime somebody gives you their cell phone and they let you look at a picture. Now, I don't care who it is. Your significant other, your mama, your daddy, your kids, your brother, your sister, your cousins. It doesn't matter. Don't be scrolling through people's cell phones unless they say, oh, you can look at the pictures. They gave you a specific item to look at. And now you want to just sit there and you just want to scroll, 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 scroll. Don't do that. You're going to scroll up something. You're you going to scroll up on something that you wasn't ready for. So. Don't do it. Respect people's cell phones, okay? That's their private property. Respect it. Don't do to them what you don't want done to you. That's just like women always want to know when a man leave the house. Only insecure women do this. Women that are secure in their status and know who they are, they don't do that. But if you insecure, where you going? How long you going to be gone? When you coming back? That's insecure. Same thing with a man. Want to question her every move, want to know every step she make, he want to know about it. That's none of your business. People need some private time. People need some me time. Give that person some me time. Say you getting ready to get married and you doing all this before the wedding. Do you think for one minute after you get married, it's going to change? Do you think for one minute that person's going to stop saying, where you going? What you doing? Who you going with? 
How come you over there? How come you was over there so long? You think they're going to do that? That's not going to change. Women. You cannot change a man. Men. You can change a woman to a certain degree. Why? I don't know. I've always been that woman. You can't change. You can't change me. But there's women out there that they a man can change them. He can mold them into being what he wants. And it's a some men will, can be molded by a woman. But for the most part, a man will try to control your friends. He'll try to control who you talk to, who you go out with, who you kick you with, who you hanging with, and things like that. Whereas if a woman tries to do that, a man is not going to stop talking to his friends, going over to his friend's house, kicking it, hanging out with his friends just because she don't like it. Because you know what? That's your insecurity. That's her insecurity. That's not his insecurity. That's your insecurity. So you can't pick your man's friends. Men, stop trying to pick your woman's friends because some men, they like, why you hanging out with her? She ain't married. She ain't got nobody. She ain't even got a boyfriend. Why you hanging out with her? Because they think that whatever she doing, you going to be doing it. But most women are strong enough. They got their own minds. Can't nobody influence you. Just like me. Can't nobody influence me to do nothing. I do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, and with who I want to do it with. That's me. That's how I do it. I don't follow nobody, nowhere. I am not a follower. If you ever hear that, oh, she went to jail. Her and some other people, they went to jail. Okay, say I went to jail. Maybe I did go to jail. But trust and believe the other 10 people that was with me that went to jail too, they followed me to jail because I don't follow nobody into no foolishness. I don't follow nobody into no craziness. Okay, now, if I'm following you into some foolishness or if I'm following you into some craziness, it may seem like it for a minute, but once I catch on to what's going on, I'm good. I'm cool. I don't need that in my life. I'm not a follower. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. If you're going to lead somebody into some stuff, like I say, I might lead somebody into some stuff, but I ain't going to never, ever follow anybody into anything. But them cell phones, Stay out your man's cell phone. And don't be trying when he sleep or when she sleep. If you got face recognition, don't be trying to put the phone up to their face so that you can, um, so the phone can recognize them. Or when they sleep, they got fingerprint recognition. And so while they sleep and snoring, they laying back sleeping, you know, ease the phone up under their finger and stuff so that you can unlock it because you don't know the code and they won't give you the code. Nope. Don't play them games because all you're getting ready to do is play yourself. So don't do it. And tonight, I'm finally having me some champagne, okay? I've been really busy, and I've been wanting to make a video, and I haven't had time to do videos lately because I've been busy making face masks. That's my new thing. I've created me an at-home essential job. Yes, I am an essential worker and my face masks are home grade. They are not surgical grade. They are home grade. Something to put over your face when you're going out and about. Do not go in these stores and let people be around you, coughing around you, even talking to you. You don't even want their air. Don't even want to breathe the air they breathe it. Make sure you are protected. Make sure your face is covered up. And you don't have to be looking crazy out there with a face mask, but if you got to look crazy, you got to look crazy because you have to protect yourself by any means necessary. You can have a face mask that's making a fashion statement, okay? And I'm making some face masks and I'm going to make a video on some face masks. And if you guys like what I'm doing and if you guys don't have anybody to um, make you a, a at-home grade face mask, then your girl... Champagne nights and caviar dreams, I got you. All you got to do is hit me up and I'll tell you what the cost is and I'll tell you how I can ship it to you. And we can do that. 
And also, uh, if you have not joined my channel, Eating with Food for Thought Roberts on YouTube, please stop on by. Eating with Food for Thought Roberts. That is a channel about healthy eating. It's about green smoothies. It's about detoxing, weight management, things of that nature. It's about cooking. It's just about fun. It's something there for everybody on that channel. But this channel right here, Champagne Nights and Caviar Dreams, this channel is strictly for adults, okay? This is for my grown folks and for my 149 subscribers that I have so far. Woo-woo! I thank you ever so much. And like I said, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, comment, like, share this channel with others because people might want to hear what I got to say. And tonight I want to say, stay out of your significant other's cell phone. Do not play yourself and do not play the cell phone game. I have enjoyed making this video for you and I will be uploading another video in about a week. So everyone have a good time. Enjoy yourself. And I hope you enjoy each other during this pandemic. Make the most out of what you have. If you've lost the love that you have for that person, you just okay with them. Now's the time to find it and get back on one accord. Get back to where you used to be. Get back to looking at her like you used to look at her when you first, when you first met her and you couldn't think about nobody but her. Get back to looking at him like you did when you first met him and you really couldn't think about nobody but him. Make him or her your champagne night and your caviar dreams. Just have fun. Life is about having fun, okay? You might not have all the money in the world, but you know, when you're dead and gone, it's not gonna do you no good anyway. Just have fun, just enjoy each other, just take the time out to be together. Enjoy your children. Enjoy each other. Get back the love that you once had for each other. That's my time. And I thank you. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by.